I would just say my pieces are all about, I think subconsciously they're probably about just me trying to affirm blackness in a positive light, but also in an abstract light because, you know, people have so many different conceptions of what blackness is supposed to be, but it can be anything. And I just like to highlight that in my work. Like, as an Afro AM major, I'm learning about the history of blackness, and I think that comes across in my work as a form of, you know, black community, black resistance, the vibrancy of blackness, the colors of blackness, you know, whether that's like um, Kense designs or like just looking at the broadness and like the diaspora of blackness and trying to apply those different ideologies in my work as well. Starting in September of 2020, I was one of the student historians for the university archives. And as a student historian, you work with the archives to develop a project about the university that hasn't been reported and really researched on, but what you want to find out more about. So as I love arts and blackness, I'm like, okay, how can I combine these two? After doing an alumni search, I was able to interview 18 black artists who have graduated from UW-Madison, the earliest graduate, graduating in 1971 to current student artists today. And this process has been really illuminating for me in terms of what it means to be a black artist, past and present, because there's so many parallels in terms of like what people are creating, how social movements are influencing people's work. So when you think about the first black student artists at UW in the 60s, they were creating art in the wake of the civil rights movement, the black power movement, also the 1969 black student strikes at UW and how those were a catalyst for the Afro-American Studies Department and then also different forms of outreach to get black students to come to UW. So from that, how that impacts black students to also looking at present day parallels. So thinking about George Floyd's murder and how, you know, the national protest and also how it appeared and manifested in Man Madison and how that led to art on State Street, how that led to different artists practice changing in response to that and also looking at also how black artists tend to really find a community aspect in terms of ensuring that their art resonates with the community, whether that's having different workshops or creating public art. So I just really wanted to explore and learn what it means to be a, be a black artist on campus. I was able to partner with Little Picasso's, which is an organiza organization here in Madison um, that has art enrichment programs every weekend and they really want to ensure that kids understand art in a holistic way and artists of all walks of life. And for me, this research is so important to make sure that it's accessible to the community because we use, we utilize art so much in our everyday life, but we often don't appreciate the art in our life and like the history that comes along with the art and like, you know, black people couldn't always make art, you know, or if they were making art, it was for, people who are enslaving them and they're making very utilitarian types of art so you know it's, it's it's a radical act in some ways for black people to be making art when you think about the history of black arts i'm really grateful to be able to continue to ensure that people know the history of black art on a local level in madison mm -hmm.